I am full of envy. Look at this shirt. Look at that. I look like a mom. That's like about, I'm like I'm about to cook you dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Honeys, come get some food, please. <laughs> For mom and daddy. <laughs> You guys thought I was done, huh? Usually I don't go thrifting this often. You know, maybe I go once, maybe twice a month if I'm lucky. But today I had to go um, pick out my senior picks since we were in one of the big cities that are near us that has a whole bunch of thrift stores. We had to go to our two favorites. We went to a Goodwill and we went to a Savers. This is what we got between that Savers and the uh, Goodwill. I only got two things at Savers, so we'll start with that. I got these shoes. Some awesome new balances. They're like just my size. Like I, I really wanted a pair of these that were like, there's like a pink and blue and white kind of pair or something, like some weird color combination. But these I think are awesome. Those are the exact style I was going for and I got lucky to find them in my size and they're super cute. Very cheap too, like literally less than $6 for these. There was a pair of new balances right next to them that were $15 and had like the bottom of the sole ripped off. I'm not complaining, I got this. I'm very excited for those. I've needed some new tennis shoes and they're in really nice condition considering. And then plain, plain sweater. Very much so in the vein of that yellow and blue one that I got, but a uh, different brand, of course, but it's a nice tight, it's kind of like a grayish brown type dealy. I think it'll be an awesome piece for layering. Now this piece, it looks a little weird, but I promise I think it's going to be really flattering. It, it buttons up in the front, so, but it's got this kind of like bow in the front situation. I think it'll look really nice for a church shirt. I might wear it for speech season even. I don't know. This shirt, it's um, a Target brand shirt. I have one that is exactly this cut, but in gray. And so I saw it in this like kind of red color. I have to make sure not to wear those to Target because everyone will think that I work there. I love plain t-shirts because they go with everything and they're comfortable. That's it for my reasonable purchases. I got several very stupid purchases. Level with me. I don't spend my money on much. I spend my money on gas, thrifting once a month, and then food like once or twice a month. So I don't make poor financial decisions. Someone would argue with that, but <laughs> trying to rationalize with you why I bought some of these items because you're gonna go, Annika, why would you possibly need that? And I go, because it's pretty. Bridesmaid dress. It's this awesome tan color. Look at that neckline, and it fits perfectly, and it's long. It goes all the way down to the feet. I know this is a poor angle, but absolutely beautiful. So stunning. You guys have probably seen Kendall and Maggie's dresses uh, for pageant stuff that um, we wear, and my mine and Ella's dresses don't match the girls, but they're like complimentary. And so I was shopping today, and I think I found the exact dress that Kendall and Maggie have in my size. Look at that. That's the exact stinking dress. Gotta be. It's the same length. I think theirs comes up in the front and a little bit down in the back, but this has got to be the older bridesmaid version of that dress. You're probably asking me, um, where do you have to wear those? Where could you, where could you possibly wear those, Ani? I don't know. I don't know. Usually you have to buy those dresses for like anywhere from one to three hundred dollars and they were 13. Case closed. Okay. And then this dress, this was only $3.99. Their prices were all over the place. Like certain items would be like 30, 40 dollars for something that should be like 10, 20. And then they would price things like this for $3.99. Can you see this? So there's little straps like this on the shoulders and then this really pretty detailing on the side. It's a short little number. Very flattering. Kind of skimpy. Once again, where are you going to wear that? To church on Christmas Eve. Don't question my judgment, okay? And now for my trash bag of things. Again, I did not say that these were necessarily um, smart purchases. I apologize. Oh boy, I just completely demolished this trash bag. Um, that's fine. I don't know if you know, but I am a sucker for coats. I love coats. 
I, I love them. I really only use the same like one coat during any respective season. Like this black North Face coat up here, it's like, it's one of those thin puffers. I wanted to get the big oversized puffer, but I, I only got the thin one somehow. It was a fiasco, but I use that at this time of year when it's like from about 30 degrees to 50 degrees, like right in there, I use that coat. And then I have this like very big oversized puffer that I use when it's actually cold out. And then I have like a hundred different style jackets that I like never wear. It's a problem, <laughs> I understand, but alas, it is my kryptonite. And here are two absolutely amazing, beautiful coats that I will wear once or twice. So this one I'm thinking of using as a church coat. This coat, it's like a teddy bear trench coat situation, you know, you could say. Come on guys. It's giving trendy Pinterest mom, all right? I understand, I understand. You're like, you look like you have four children in a homestead and go to a non-denominational church. And I say, I know, I know. Here we are. I mean, I had to. And it was like 20 bucks too. This was 20 bucks, $20 for that. Honestly, I kind of think it's a steal because this is heavy duty too. This is like, head, oh, I just hit my funny bone. Ah, it's, it's like heavy, nice material. And I, there's not even a brand in it that I can find. Oh, here it is. It's 70% wool. It's made in the US too. I can't seem to find a brand. Whatever, it's, it's nice quality, heavy duty wool, American made. Like that makes a difference, but, um, and then, I do need to buy an actually nice winter coat. Did I? No, I did not. Did I instead buy this? Yes, I did. Now, this is reasonable. This is nice. This is a Talbot's coat. I have one that's similar to it. I have, it's like um, this like red corduroy kind of material. And it has this same incredibly soft and fuzzy lining on the inside. Now I need to put it on. It is a little oversized, but it is completely and totally in my style. I mean, guys, guys. <laughs> you have no idea how excited I am. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I had to. I had to. Look how adorable this is. I'm an idiot, but I, I'm happy. I'm a happy idiot. And then I got one more thing. This has been something I've had on my, like, get list for like two years. It's something I always want on Christmas. As a chronically ill person, on days you can't do anything, this is what you need. You guys have no idea how excited I am. <laughs> guys, it's a comfy. <laughs> these, I don't know if you guys have heard of these. They are called comfies. They are sweatshirt blankets. And they have this big pocket, these big pockets, and then long sleeves. You're wearing a blanket. I cannot wait to wake up on Christmas morning and throw this on or after a shower. Oh my lanta after a shower. Just throw this on. Lay in bed with like a nice movie going on. Guys, I am. Um... Hello friends. Once again, we find ourselves on the floor of my bedroom right next to my closet and right next to my bed to show you what I got at the thrift store. Today, I got to go to the thrift store, but only for a short amount of time. We were only there for about 20 minutes, maybe 25 at the most. But nevertheless, I got a lot of great finds in my last five to 10 minutes of being there. And let me show you a few. I did not go through the shirt section, but I was mainly in the athletic wear section. I took a quick peek at dresses and then um, on my way putting back stuff, I found a pair of pants. So pretty much everything here is from the athletic section, including this wonderful white tank top. It's a nice basic piece. It's a little see-through. I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I have a tank that's close to this but a little more revealing so the shoulders are a little bit smaller and it's my favorite tank top and excitedly about this I think this one will fit a little bit nicer and I like that there's more to the shoulders on this one and the neckline is less revealing on this one than my other one which I really like these pants guys guys is this the back I can't tell what's the back and what this is the front of the pants really nice pockets they look almost like scrubs, but not quite. I found this beautiful, beautiful dress. It's just kind of this blush pink. 
I think I'm showing you the back. I think this is the front. So definitely a bit low cut, but it's fine. I think it's really pretty. It kind of matches, as I was saying earlier, it kind of matches Kendall and Maggie's dresses, my little misses. I had bought one that was similar to this that I think is exactly the dress that the girls have. Um, and it was too small. Another dress, we might as well knock out both dresses. While we're at it, it's another pink dress with this kind of eccentric pattern on it. Very flattering cut. It kind of got this fun like fringe, almost flapper-esque edge to it. I found these today. Oh, I got them backwards. Sorry guys, hold on. I'll figure it out one day. I think these are going to be so incredibly cute, super comfortable, wonderful fabric. They're breathable. You can tell they're going to wash nice very happy about this purchase. I threw these two on the side. They're supposed to go in the bucket. Goodness, Ani, get it together. Um, <laughs> Once again, found another really cute pair of shorts. I was on fire in the shorts department today. These shorts are so cute. They're hard to see on camera. They're like a navy blue. They're not quite black. They have this cute little tie. Oh, you can kind of see them there. These are cute. They have pockets in the front and um, a zipper pocket on one butt really nice. Um, I think they're cute. They're flattering. I haven't tried them on yet again, but I'm hoping these are going to be a win. So I found this REI top. It's really nice. It's, it's a nice material because when you find a lot of like these like quarter zip things that are tighter, they're like that really dense stretchy material that like, um, like dry fit leggings are made out of, you know, there, it's just this really thick, I feel like I'm wearing a wetsuit. This feels like almost like cotton mixed with spandex and I like I like tight white tops and then I think this is it finally another pair of black shorts Nike shorts can you see that friends I think they are the perfect length for me because they're not long enough that I feel like a Duggar girl but they're short enough to be cute but not reveal my butt you know hello friends I am doing yet another thrift haul. This little outfit here I got when I was stranded in, in Illinois at a gas station. I have a pair of overalls or bibs. They're just nice and plain, nothing fancy about them. I don't know if you guys know this, but I love overalls. I love them. They're so cute, so versatile. I wish that I could find more in like different colors. At thrift stores, you can always find a good pair of reliable blue jean overalls. If you couldn't tell, I like one piece romper type things, right? I got this red sweater. It's such a flattering cut on my body type. I look pretty nice in red, but I don't own a lot of red. So I was very thankful to get this piece. Moving on. I found a pair of um, champion sweats. They're just black. They just have the little logo. They don't have the like words on the side. I don't like it when clothes have like words on them because I find that it's harder to make into an outfit. Now this coat looks really obnoxious, um, and it is. So it's like this like quilt material almost. Just a plain pink jacket. Okay, now this isn't clothes. This is the one thing that I didn't buy. That was uh, the one thing that I bought that was not clothing. It's a little cow. <laughs> it's a cow gravy boat, guys. So you put gravy in it and it vomits it out. I'm thinking of putting some like Skittles or M&Ms or type thing so that it can vomit out like skills I could give up to people. <laughs> it's, guys, I love it. I got two books. This is called Jesus Land. Um, I don't, it's a really cool story about like um, a young boy who was adopted into like a very rural part of Indiana. But, and apparently it's actually like a thriller. So I don't know if this is a Christian publisher. Surely it has to be because it's called Jesus Land. Oh, actually it might be making fun of it. I don't know, it looks, really good the synopsis is good but i don't want to read it i don't want to read the synopsis to you right now i do want to read the book and then this book i kind of made my mom get it because it's funny but i do think it's a practical book it's called locally laid <laughs> what a funny name no but it's about um this group of people family it's about um this small town family that started like a big like egg company how we built a plucky industry changing egg farm from scratch and I think it was like in a small town too or something. So I thought it'd be a fun read too because I like stuff like that. I got this little slip dress nightgown type deal. Just a nice pale pink slip dress, probably worn by a granny. There is my lovely little thrift haul for you all. I hope you have a great night and I'm gonna edit a whole bunch and go to bed. So good night.